This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, how you doing? We are going to Scotland today. We are going to Scotland, We're at least making our way up there. I'd like to get it delivered today, but we will see. Uh, got a few other stuff to do beforehand. First things first, we've got to do a delivery to Chip and Camden, and we are here now, right now. We've got a full load of paved stone on the back of us. Um, so we're going to get this off. Now these guys don't actually open until nine o'clock, apparently, according to Google. And it's seven in the morning. But I phoned up last night and they said someone will be here from seven. So we're just going to pull on in. We're going to park on up right in front of us next to that maritime. And uh, we're going to start undoing the straps. I don't trust this road. How soft is it? Should look, yeah, it looks all right, it looks all right, it looks all right. Cool, so yeah, we're gonna just uh, park up parallel to this uh, maritime truck here. And we're gonna start undoing our straps. And then we can get this offloaded. That is the plan, that is the plan, that is the plan. Mr. Maritime driver in there? I think he is, but he's on his bed. Let's go back a little bit. That'd do. Right, so we're gonna get these straps off. And then pretty much the truck in front of you is pretty much the location that they normally tip us. So we'll, uh, we'll probably park in there at some point. Like I said, I don't know where this maritime driver next to me is going over. No idea. We are on the flatbed today, which is good. Oh, I might give you a little look. Come follow me. Okay, so there we are. It's all strapped up. We're uh, just gonna unstrap it all now. So when uh, when I do eventually get called over to that location behind me, we can just roll straight up and uh, reverse back in where we need to be. And then we just stay in the cab. They can take it all off. And when they're done, we can just go. That's the plan. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take all the straps off. Okay, everything's now unstrapped. We're good to go. I'm just gonna go and see the bloke, the bloke over there now and just tell him that I'm here, what I got on. 
and I'm, I'm ready when he is. Let's go and do it. Right, we've uh, just gone to see someone, even though that uh, maritime truck is there and that one is there, <laughs> they want me in. Happy days. I'm basically parking next to that one almost, but uh, it's like a different angle. He said, park my wheels on the line. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if you can quite see, but the back wheels are pretty much on the line. Just over now, actually. And straighten up. And he said, go back as far as I can. It's got to be about there. Cool, right, we're parked up. The sun's right on my eyes there. Engine off. Cool, right, we need to get some fuel at some point. We got just over half a tank, but I'd like to fill up before I go to Scotland. Uh, like I said, the plan is now we've got to go to, well, once we get tipped here, we've got to go to Leighton Buzzard, get loaded with uh, bricks, uh, and then we've got to go to a place called Morecambe, I think it was, which is or more came, more came is on the sea, sort of, yeah, near Lancaster. So we've got to go all the way up to Lancaster, so that'll be up on the M6. And then um, from there, we've got to go to Glasgow. So nice bit of driving today. We should get the first drop off. That's the plan. Get the, get the, uh, the more cam, more cam, more came, whatever you call it. Get the more came off uh, today and then make our way up to Glasgow. If we can get to Glasgow off today, brilliant. But I suspect it'll be in the morning. We see. Let's give the paperwork to the guy. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Hey, Lovely, jubbly. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully, this don't take too long. Okay, we are just around the corner now from where we need to be to get loaded. We got tipped very quickly at uh, Pavestone, so that's good. There's a bit of a a bit of a drive though to get down to Leighton Buzzard. There was no like sort of straight road to get here. So you sort of got to go either up and out your way and then back down or down and out your way and then back up. There was no sort of like real major way in. Right. There's a width limit a mile down the road and a weight limit. Okay, good to know. I don't think I'm going a mile down the road. I don't think I am. 0 0.7 miles have gone to my sat nav. Should just about miss the width limit. So we've got to get loaded with bricks from Redlands. I've never been here before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be long trousers, high vis, hard hat, safety goggles, the uh, the whole lot PPE wise. Pretty sure it's sort of one of those places. Got a van behind me. I'm just going careful around these corners because I'm assuming um, lorries are coming back out this way as well. I assume. Right, which entrance do we want then, Luke? It's on the right somewhere. It's a train track, yeah? I don't think it's this entrance, I think it's the next one. Yeah, this one here. I see a lorry down there with curtains open, so that's probably a safe bet of where to go. Goods in Woods HGV Collections, yeah, collection, that's what we want. We want to go left. HGV deliveries and collections. Okay, we got this lane. Okay, I found this on the web. 
never even spoke to you, Siri. Do I need to see anyone? Conference centre. I don't know what lane I need to be in. Stop here. Report to ticket office. Use walkway provided. OK, right. Let's go for a walk then. I never saw any signs saying I needed to wear certain stuff, mind. Never mind. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we're back in the truck. Before we go, I just need to do some stuff. So I've just done a print out. Just working how much driving time we've got left for the rest of the day. We've got quite a bit left. We've got five hours and 53 minutes left on a, um, on a nine hour drive or 6.53. Yeah, 6.53 on a 10. So we do have a bit of driving time left. Now, the time it takes us to get to our next destination is four hours and 15 minutes. So we might actually run out of driving time. We have had a 15 minute break earlier and a 30 minute break here so we can in theory get there in one go and it's on an industrial estate so we can have another break whilst we're there after we're loaded in theory the question i have is do i then have enough time to get to glasgow from there that is the question i've got it all put in the sat nav ready to go i'm just going to check on my phone uh, da, 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 da. Google says two hours and 40 minutes. It's, you've got to add 15 minutes for every hour. So that's an extra hmm, three, and, three and a bit hours, four, five, six. All right, we are not going to get to Glasgow. There is not a chance we're going to get to Glasgow. Not today, anyway. This lorry better not be stopping right in front of me. Bloody hell. Kicking up some dust there, mate. Yeah, so, right, OK, so we're, we're, we're definitely not getting to Glasgow today. I mean, we're not going to get it off in time anyway, Glasgow, but I was hoping we were going to get up there and park outside the gates. But that ain't going to happen, I don't think. We do, we do some more calculations once we get to the first drop, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to make it to Glasgow today. It'd be a case of stopping somewhere on the way up. Maybe Route 74, it's not too far away. If we can make that instead, we'll uh, obviously do calculations uh, on the way up. Obviously, it could be anything happening on the way. It could be uh, road accidents, road, road closures, anything. So who knows what can happen? Right, yeah, just over four hours drive to our first stop. We get, we should get there before we require on a break. We do need to stop for fuel on the way as well. We've got half a tank. Like I said, it's four hours away, so I would like to stop and get fuel before I go up to Glasgow. So we should be at the first drop for about 4 p.m., maybe just before. So they might not even want to tip us up themselves, which means a night out there. So we'll, we'll try. We'll try and get the first drop off at least, and we can start making our way up into Scotland. See you in a bit. Okay, so there's been an accident on the M6 again. <laughs> Bloody M6. Uh, there's an accident on Birmingham and uh, there's at least an hour's delay, according to the gantries. It even picked up on my sat nav as well. So, um, yeah, that would have put it about <laughs> quarter past five by the time we actually got there. So, um, I phoned the boss up and I was like, do you want to deliver today or do you want to deliver tomorrow? Because if you want to deliver today, we're going to have to take the M6 toll. Now, this is a road I've actually only ever been on uh, once before. This is the second time. <laughs> and the first time I ever went on it was by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to go on it. Uh, and I ended up paying for it out of my own pocket. This time, I've uh, got confirmation. So we are taking the M6 toll. This lorry is about to move. Lovely jubbly. Oh, 
automated by the looks of it. You have insert the card in the card reader slot below. Please insert the card, okay. Just took it. I want a receipt. Oh, the wind nearly blew that out. <laughs> Lucky I caught that. The wind very nearly blew it straight out. Right, never mind. We're on the M6 toll. Toll has been paid. Shall get that reimbursed to me. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to carry on now to where we're going. I think that lorry's just, just skipped paying for the toll. I saw him go into the wide area, the load, the wide load area, and he's come straight back through again. Never mind. Yeah, so our current ETA is five past four. There is still a chance that they won't actually tip us today, but at least there's a chance. Uh, if we didn't take the toll, we wouldn't be there at all today. Well, we would, but they'd be, they'd be well shut, well gone. Whereas we're still two, two hours and a half away, so should be there for about five past four. Fingers crossed they can tip us, but they close at half past four, so they they might <laughs> they might not actually tip us still. So we will see. We could be parked up early for the night. Have a, be a long rest as well, for like four o'clock, pretty much, all the way until like half seven, eight o'clock tomorrow. So that'd be a very long rest period. Or we do get tipped, and it'll be a late finish in in Scotland. We're going to go as far as we can. Uh, and then probably an early start tomorrow as well. So, I mean, personally, <laughs> it'd be better for me if I finish at four o'clock because they don't tip me. Um, I can have a long rest. I don't have to get up early. <laughs> so that would benefit me, but I'm not like that. I will literally try my best to get offloaded today because at the end of the day, I'm paid to do a job and I want to do the job. So if I can get this off today, it will be off today. There's no slacking. Right. Let's crack on. We're two hours and 22 minutes away, according to SatNav, just under two and a half hours. Let's go. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me about four hours and ten minutes after we left our collection point this morning in Leighton Buzzard. I say this morning, it was around lunchtime we left, so it might have been afternoon. <laughs> uh, we managed to fill up a fuel uh, and we went through the M6 toll. We've completed around about 210 miles, give or take, maybe a little bit more. And uh, we are now around the corner from our first delivery <laughs> point. First delivery point, and it's four o'clock in the evening, and it's getting dark. It probably will be dark by the time we're offloaded. I have phoned ahead, uh, and I've said I'll be here for four o'clock, and they said, yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, come on in. We'll see you then. Now, it is down there on the left. However, I want to go around the other way, so that I'm facing this way on the way out, so I can reverse in on my good side. That's the plan. If I go in that way, it looks like I'm going to have to drive in and reverse out or reverse in on the bad side, the blind side, which I used to have an employee who say, oh, there's no such thing as a blind side. Yeah, that's why they call it a blind side, because it's a blind side. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go left here. Left, 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 left. Oh, we're also on. I know we've, I've, no, I know you joined me four hours and ten minutes after leaving where we got loaded because that's how much driving time we're on. We are on four hours and ten minutes of driving time. So we've got 20 minutes spare. Like I said, luckily we can get tipped and we just park somewhere here. There's, uh, there are areas with no double yellow lines, even if there is a double yellow. I don't know, probably we will just park on it to be honest. Let's, let's be honest, everyone else does. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna we'll have a have a break and then we can carry on to Glasgow. I need to work out how much driving time I got left, whether we can get to our destination in Glasgow. I've got a funny feeling I won't be able to, but I'm gonna try. We can't get around this corner unless there's nothing coming, and it seems to be a very constant flow of vehicles coming. Yeah, keep coming, mate, keep coming. You slowing down and slowing me down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I has got a delivery to make in it. Yeah, so there's no double yellows on here or here. Or basically, where all these cars are parked, there's no double yellows. So, uh, yeah, you just pull out, mate. You just pull out. 
with no lights on. Um, so come sort of five o'clock time, I assume and imagine most of these will move. Right, destination is right up front. Where do we park? That is the question. Can we park right outside the gates? Yeah, we're going to park right outside the gates. Right, this is where we want to be. I've got a funny feeling, like I said, I've got to reverse in. There's enough room for people to get round me. Yes, there is. Right, let's go see what they say. Can't be long because, uh, like I said, they, they literally close in half an hour. They might actually tell me they won't tip me yet. I've got a car right behind me and you can't see my hazards on. <laughs> Let's reverse on in. Thank you. We don't need to go all the way in because it's mostly on the back end anyway. Right, let's get this off, see you in a bit. Whoo! 10 minutes, that's all that took. <laughs> That literally took 10 minutes to get that offloaded. So quick, I was literally running around. One, one of the drivers actually helped out as well. Awesome. Right, we're on four hours and 13 minutes of driving. So we now need to have a break. Where are we going to stop? That is a question in half. I think, oh, if they budged over, I could have parked there. I could park right there, right where that car is. If I reverse back, oh, no, I could park right here. No, I can't park there. I'm going to park here on the right hand side. So I need to have half an hour break. Let's reverse back. I also need to do calculations, like where can I get to tonight? But that'll have to be done before I have my break because it's classed as work. There we go, we're off the yellow line. Lovely. Right. Can't believe how quick that was. Literally, fully, well, not fully tipped because obviously it went a full load, but everything that they needed to take off was taken off in just 10 minutes. Banging. Right, I now need to work out where I can get to. I've got one hour, 41 minutes left of driving. 2.41 on a 10 hour drive. How far can I get? Because the actual destination is three hours and 15 minutes away from here. So I just need to get as far as I can really. So there's less driving to do in the morning. That's, uh, that's what we need to do now. So. I'm going to sort that out and then I'm going to have a break. See you in a bit. Right, you join me about 35 minutes later. I've uh, kind of come up with a plan. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make um, uh, Glasgow at all. That's, that's just off the cards. I could make Route 74, but get this. I've got two hours and 41 minutes left of driving time on a 10 hour drive. And it's exactly two hours and 41 minutes away from here. So that's cutting it a bit too fine. Um, I'm probably going to get held up somewhere. So I'm going to stop at a place called the Feckin' Truck Shop. <laughs> uh, and they have a diner. It's called the Feckin' Diner. And um, there's a truck wash there as well called the Feckin' Truck Wash. 
and uh, all this is in a place called Eccles Fecken. So I'm going to the Fecken truck stop. <laughs> I've already phoned them up because um, they've only got 32 spaces. It only costs 10 pounds as well on Snap, which is pretty good. Uh, they've only got um, 10 spaces. Uh, so I phoned them up and I was like, do I need to reserve a space? They said, no, you just, just turn up. I said, well, is it going to be busy at like half past six? That's my ETA. And she said, I don't know. Is it, is, she goes, it's only not even five. That's my really bad Scottish accent. So she said, just turn up and um, there, hopefully there'll be a space. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to turn up. If we get there and there is no space, then we'll just jump back onto the A74, M74, whatever it's called, and we'll go a little bit further. Right, we are now trying to get out of this place. Uh, Right, that car's letting me through. Cool, let's go. Right, so I'm going to have to turn my lights off. It's all right at the moment because we're, we're under street lighting. I can see outside really clearly. But we are going to have to turn it off because it's now dark and I just need to concentrate on where I'm going. I will see you in about one hour, 40 minutes because that's how long it's going to take to get to the feckin' truck stop. <laughs> oh, what an awesome name, the feckin' truck stop. That's a brilliant name. <laughs> uh, we want to go left here. Right, <laughs> see you in a bit. Right, okay, we are literally now 1.3 miles away. We're just about to come off the A74M now. We are officially in Scotland. <sighs> They've only got, according to my app, 35 spaces at this place. That's assuming everyone parks right, and that's probably when it's crammed as well. So there's, there's, there's just not a lot of parking at this place but we're going to try it out anyway now i did call route 74 on the way and i asked if i could reserve a space and their answer was no because it's after four o'clock they don't take reservations after four o'clock apparently uh <laughs> so i said will you have any space at um half seven because that's my eta there they like, again they, they couldn't they couldn't tell me if they're going to have any space or not all they could say is call when you're a little bit closer. Now the problem is, if I go straight to Route 74, I will arrive pretty much maxed out my 10 hour drive, like I said. I'm, I've got a couple of minutes spare, maybe five minutes spare. But um, like I said, I don't want to get all the way there and then realize there's nowhere to stop. So we're gonna try the feckin' diner first. We're gonna try the feckin' diner. If it is rammed and there is nowhere to stop, then we're probably gonna have to crack on to Route 74. Hopefully there is uh, there is space here. I can see that there are lights on on trucks, so that's uh, a good start. I think there might be room. Uh, I don't know. It's looking very tight for space. Which entrance do we want? Ah, nah. right. Okay. What I, what I thought was the truck stop is actually Corvard's yard. <laughs> Okay, okay, it does look quite busy. Let's have a look. This is it here. Just gonna turn the light off so I can see better in the dark. Let's let that car come through first. Yeah, it looks very busy in here. Have a look. Ah, there's a space right there. A couple of spaces right there. Brilliant. Okay, we've got space. We've got space. There's one there as well. And I believe this is the turning circle. And again, more spaces here. Lovely. Loads of room. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm actually going to park furthest away because walking is good for you and I need to lose some weight. <laughs> so I will be parking the furthest away. Also, I hope being the furthest away, it means it's the quietest as well.
one here, three spaces between me and the next truck. Right, I need to go and uh, pay for parking, which I believe is only £10. I'm probably going to have something to eat. I also need to inquire about uh, washing, the truck wash, because I'd like to get this truck washed before I head off. That is what I would like to do. Uh, I'll just put in the destination where I've got to go tomorrow. Glasgow. I think I'm still quite far away, like a good hour and 45 minutes. All right, we're an hour and a half away. Okay, it's not too bad. So by the time I get up in the morning, do my checks, get the truck washed, we need to allow for at least two hours, basically. Uh, what time do they open? Oh wow, they open at half past seven in the morning. That's a half past five start then. <laughs> I don't think we're starting that early. My boss said that um, he still don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. And I have a feeling he won't know until about 9am. So I'm not going to rush to get there too early, otherwise I'll have nothing to do for an hour. Right, anyway, I'm going to go pay for parking. See you in the morning. Okay, morning everyone. What do you want to say? I don't, I don't want to say anything to you. Be quiet, Siri. Good morning. How is everyone? <laughs> We've actually been in this bloody queue now for the truck wash. 45 minutes. I can't go backwards because there's trucks behind me. I, um, yeah. <laughs> Starting to... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not talking to you. What, what are you sending? Oh no, what are you sending? I'm not talking to you, Siri. Yeah, so we're um, we're in the queue for the truck wash. I don't know how it works. Maybe we just got out there. So yeah, the truck in front is just drove in and got out. I guess he's gone to see someone. I I don't know. I've got absolutely no idea how this works. Uh, before entering the wash bay, all drivers must fold in their mirrors and secure any loads. Yep. I've already folded in my passenger mirror, so I've just got to fold in my driver mirror when um, when I'm actually in. But yeah, um, time's getting on. <laughs> and I was kind of hoping we'd be out of here by now, but we're not. <laughs> but I need to get a truck wash. Uh, the time is currently 20 past six. Uh, we woke up half past five and um, done our checks and yeah. Then we drove straight into the truck wash queue. There was only two trucks waiting to be loaded. Uh, sorry, to be uh, to be washed. Um, well, I suppose there was three. I suppose there would have been one inside and then two outside waiting. But now we're next to go in, so just uh, just waiting to go in now. Right, we are going in. Just the... No idea what he said. What? <sighs> right. Dead on snap. That is so weird, right? The guy before me, apparently, he's got the same surname as me. It was written down on a bit of paper. My surname's Cus, C-U-S. That's what the C stands for. But uh, yeah, so weird. I've never. <laughs> How strange is that? All right. Anyway, he's now washing the truck. So uh, happy days. So 
Oh, he's just put my mirror out. That's nice of him. So it's quarter past seven now. Uh, <laughs> we joined this queue an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Ugh, it's not even funny. I didn't think it was going to take this long. Right, we're done. Right, let's open up that sunroof. I want to get rid of some condensation. Throw my Beninia heating on. Cheers, mate. Time is getting on. Yeah, so it's really weird that someone had the same surname as me. Um, having the same surname as someone is not quite as common as you'd think. Like, especially if you, when you've got a surname like mine. I mean, if your surname's like Smith, Brown, something like that, maybe uh, <laughs> it happens a bit more frequently. But there's not many people with my surname. Uh, so it was quite weird when I saw that. Right, we're just coming off the M8. Just coming off the M8 now. We need to turn right here, so we need the right-hand side lane. Lovely jubbly. Right, so... I have phoned the customer up and I said, look, I said, I'm in an Arctic, mate. I said, uh, did you want me to turn left and drive down or turn right and reverse down? He said, if you can, turn right and reverse down. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I said, is it busy down there? I said, look, I looked on Street View, it looks quite busy. He said, no, he goes, it can get busy, but he goes, at the moment, it's all right. But that was an hour ago, so we just have to to wait and see. But uh, it does look quite tight on, on Street View. We could have a bit of a problem. It's nice and wide in my ear. Yeah, there's not a lot of room, is there? I've got to make a quick judgment call. Yeah, it looks clear in the yard, so I'm going to reverse in. Just press the wrong button. <laughs> Very tight down here, though. All right, hazards are on, beacons are on. Hopefully no one comes out or gets in my way. But I am reversing back into the yard and I'm going straight in if I can. Is that bloke taking a video or picture of this truck? No, he's just on his phone. There is a van in there where I want to go, but I can't just stay out on the road. I'm just going to block all the road up otherwise. So I'm just going to drive in. If I've got to move, I, then I move. Straight in. Why not? I've got to allow this van on the right enough room to get out. Should be good. Right. Let's get this taken off. Right. That is it. We are tipped. That was very quick as well. We can't actually go anywhere yet because this uh, van's blocks me in. The driver's there. If the driver goes off, I'm going to ask him to move. Yeah, he's moving now by the looks of it. That's good. Uh, and that is the end of today's video as well. Obviously, not the end of my day. 
I just found out, well, I'm trying to find out what I've got to do next, but because um, we're on day hire with, uh, with Keydwell apparently, so it could be an hour or so before we find out, so I've just been told to go park up. So I'm going to go park up around the corner. I'll bring you with me while, while we go there. I think there's room around there, hopefully. And uh, we'll have a 45 minute break while we're there. That's the plan anyway. But there's a lorry here, look, with his hazards on. If he was here when I first arrived, I wouldn't have been able to turn right and then reverse back down. But obviously he's not. Obviously he wasn't there when I first come, so there wasn't a problem. I take it this van driver's going to want to turn right. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Uh, oh yeah, it's traffic controlled here as well, isn't it? And there's traffic lights. But it is clear, yeah. Traffic's going both ways. That van isn't coming in. Recognise me, or was he just saying thank you? Right, so we're tipped. We're just going to pull in. There looks to be an industrial estate round here, and I'm hoping I can just park up somewhere around here. I could park up a here on the left lot by the looks of it. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Indication on. I'll, uh, I'll jump on the curb a little bit just to give a bit more room. But yeah, we're just going to park up here. We, this road goes all the way around and back out again. And uh, we're literally just now waiting to find out what we're doing later. So it's just a case of sitting tight now for me. Engine off, we'll have, we'll have a break. And yeah, that's uh, that's it for this video. <laughs> but we made it to Scotland, we got tipped in Scotland, um, and now we're still in Scotland. It's, it's 9 a.m. and we're waiting to find out what we're doing next. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, do appreciate it, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sort of rubbish. Um, and also, bear in mind, I do have Facebook and Instagram as well, um, which I upload to like nearly daily. So if you are looking for a little bit more sort of behind the scenes, what I'm up to during the week, then go and check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.